shining a light on the dark side of the universe. That's the task of a new mission by the European Space Agency that's set to launch on Saturday. Euclid aims to find out more about two of the universe's greatest mysteries, dark energy and dark matter. The Euclid mission aims to investigate the most mysterious forces of our universe, dark matter and dark energy. Unlocking the secrets of these invisible forces will greatly increase our understanding of space. Visible matter, responsible for stars, nebula and galaxies, makes up less than 5% of the universe. The remaining 95% is invisible. The theory is that dark matter works a bit like glue, holding stars and galaxies together. Dark energy, on the other hand, drives the accelerating expansion of our universe. These mysterious forces are only identifiable by their effects. To gain insight into them, Euclid has to investigate as much of the universe as possible. What Euclid needs to do is to look at a very large part of the universe. It has, the mission has been optimized uh, in the end to look at about 35% of the overall sky. Our universe was created during the so-called Big Bang. All the structures that astronomers see today were formed from evenly distributed gas, influenced by dark matter and dark energy. Euclid will operate roughly one and a half million kilometers from Earth on our planet's dark side. This vantage point will grant its telescope a largely unobstructed look into deep space. Euclid will collect data from billions of galaxies in various stages of evolution. And in the process, it will get a picture from 10 billion years ago. That's how long light from the most distant clusters of stars takes to reach the telescope. The gathered data will reveal how exactly dark matter is distributed in space and how the proportion of dark energy has changed over time. Euclid is a, a mission which will produce really a huge amount of information, which will serve not only cosmology, by the way, but will, will serve uh, uh, galactic studies, uh, will serve all sorts of other, other sciences, astronomy, astronomy science. The Euclid mission will run for around six years and is widely expected to transform our understanding of the universe. Exciting stuff. And Keith Cowing is here to dig into it a little deeper. He's the editor of SpaceRef.com and joins us from Washington, D.C. Good to see you again, Keith. So a telescope setting out to map invisible matter and energy. That sounds like quite a task. What will Euclid be able to reveal about these mysterious parts of the universe? Well, I like the German term better, dunkle materia. It just sounds a little more you know, mysterious than just dark matter, <laughs> dark energy. But uh, your introductory piece was rather good in just showing the rather cosmic, if I can use that word, uh, implications of this. It's sort of like if you've got a cat and it gets in a bag and you hear it and you go out and you see the bag moving around. You think it's your cat. You're not sure. You can't see the cat, but you can see the bag moving around and the effect it has on things. That's where we still are with regards to dark matter, dark energy. We, we obviously see the universe. We see stars and planets. We see them doing things that make some sense, but then you're saying, why does it do this if I can't see that? So Euclid, along with other telescopes like the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope that NASA will launch, and other observatories are all going to sort of gang up on this question over the next half a decade. Why is it so important to understand dark matter and dark energy? Well, again, it's sort of like we can only see a few percent of what's out there, in there, within us, where we came from, where we're going. And we have an idea how things work, but they're sort of like they it was it the ghost in the machine. We don't see everything. We don't see all the particles that are making galaxies do what they do. And if you want to know how things really work, you need to find out what that remaining 90 to 95 percent is. This telescope, this mission, along with others, will make a big dedicated stab at that issue. It's really the first time that we've spent this much money and time on a spacecraft to do this.
Yeah, the Euclid project manager, whom we just saw in the report, actually called it a cosmic embarrassment that we still don't know what happens in 95% of the universe. <laughs> and how is Euclid different um, to previous space telescopes? Well, this is the sort of thing where Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking and all the smart guys were all scratching their head. So this is a this is a and Carl Sagan and everybody else. This is the big as biggest of big questions that I can think of, other than where the universe came from, and we won't that know that answer until we figure this one out. So yeah, but this this is really one of those rewriting the textbooks sort of things. We won't know exactly how they'll be rewritten yet, but that's something that if we talk again in four or five or six years, we may be talking about. That was Keith Cowing, editor of spacereft.com. Many thanks, always great speaking to you. Bye-bye.